I was reading through some history books and I found out something very interesting. As clever and original as you think Fred Phelps is, there's something he does that didn't originate with him. National Review magazine called Fred Phelps' practice of picketing funerals as charming. And it also alluded to the fact that he seemed to originate it. It's up to you whether you consider it charming, but he didn't originate it. Who did? Our founding fathers. Yes, Benjamin Franklin, John Hancock, Thomas Paine, and Thomas Jefferson had a brigade of funeral picketing. What they did was little known to many of us. By day, they were doing the revolution. At night, they were in a funeral picketing brigade. They would go to their fellow colonialist funerals and hold up signs that said things like, Providence abhors ye. They would also have signs that would say, Militia men die, Providence laughs. Or, one of their favorites was, Give a probation and thanks to Providence for dead militiamen. It was considered pretty tasteless, but what could the other colonialists do? So Fred Phelps is like our fellow Americans, Thomas Paine, Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, and John Hancock, in more ways than one. He is like them, of course, in his great faith in the Almighty. He is also like them because they both do funeral picketing. They would also yell things like goody goody gumdrops when colonialists die at the funerals. And they didn't have these rigid laws that say you have to stand this distance and that distance. They would go right up in the funeral home itself and yell these things. They would say, hooray, hallelujah. That person is dead. Thank you. Providence. Unfortunately for Fred Phelps, his Westboro Baptist Church is constrained by the limits of the law. Certainly, our founding fathers would view such funeral picketing laws as a great abridgment of our freedom of speech.